Hi, my name is Trey Smith and I am the apprentice for community experience here at Theater Square. I'm Ruby Kemp, I'm the costume director. And I'm Jen McCory and I'm the costume designer for what the Constitution means to me. And this is Sit, Sit and, and Sip. Sip. our last sit and sip then you saw Lyndon explain these wonderful cocktails and mocktails but just in case you missed it I'll give you a recap this is the show mocktail for what the Constitution means to me it is the amendment 18 it's a play on prohibition which meant you could not drink in America for a, a you know a decade ish this one is going to be the Amendment 21, which was a play on the repealing of Prohibition, which meant you can drink again. They're both very tasty. This is a beer cocktail. And then this one is kind of a play on a root beer float. Wow, I was so excited to ask questions. I completely forgot, but let's do a toast yes. with our show cocktails and mocktails provided by the Commons. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. What the Constitution means to me. Yeah, the Constitution. All right. Oh, that's good. Much Very light like good. Oh my gosh. Love it. Love it. Okay. In what the Constitution means to me, Heidi Schreck resurrects her 15-year-old self and kind of re-examines um, several Constitution debate contests she did as a 15-year-old to uh, pay for college. So my first question is, what were you like at 15? I was a band nerd. I played percussion and I was in honors classes. Okay. I loved it. Okay. <laughs> nice. I too was a band nerd and played percussion and oboe <laughs> and a lot of all the things. Anytime they would hand me an instrument, I would learn to play it. And I did honors classes as well. And I was just, I was a big old nerd. Yeah. I was just a nerd. Okay. Nice. I had big glasses, the whole nine. They were really stylish. The oh, big yeah. glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I also had the claw bangs because we're talking 80s. Yeah. Claw. Ooh. Yeah. The 1980s claw bang it was claw a statement. Bang. Yes. Wow. I feel like I'm in great company because I was also, don't tell anyone, but a band nerd that was in honors classes. I have a rest to think about now so we don't talk about it. But. <laughs> Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. And anyone else who's watching. And anyone else who's watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we know that you have costumed so many shows here at Theater Squared, but I'm interested in knowing how did you get into costuming? You want to take this one first? I'll, I'll take this one. Um, actually, my son is an actor. He started acting at the age of four, and he was doing a show at uh, what used to be Rogers Little Theater, and they needed someone to hem some pants. And I said, Oh, I know how to do that. And so I started hemming pants, and then within a year I was designing shows there, and it just kind of snowballed into a career. Cool. Do you remember your first show at um, Marginal Theater? Uh, probably it would have been The Christmas Story. Ooh. Yeah. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I used to love that movie. As a kid, I would have yeah. always The stage it. play is is even better cool. than the movie. It's got a lot of like fantasy scenes mm. that aren't in the movie. Because nice. the movie they have like the fantasy scene where they're cowboys and stuff, but they've got one where they go into the like a rainforest jungle situation. So that's a lot of fun costumes. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, I had done theater kind of a little bit here and there throughout all of childhood, but then I was a French major and I needed uh -oh. a, a certain credit. And I was like, costume design, that sounds fun. Okay. It was my last semester of college and everything just kind of clicked. That's how we all get so, into theater, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of randomly. We just like randomly, we need a class, might as well. <laughs> and so I just uh, went with it. Yeah. And it worked. Nice. And you have an MFA yes. in costuming from the U of A, right? Correct, yeah. Cool. So yeah. it just kind of spiraled. It snowballed. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I had some of the skill sets already. I could mm -hmm. draw. Uh, I had some theater background. Um, I knew how to sew. And so all of those skills came together and it worked out. Serendipity. Okay. So you both 
have done your fair share of theater squared costume designing, but I want to know what is the biggest show you've ever costume designed? Oh, <laughs> it's. I'm gonna. I think it's a toss up okay. between mm -hmm. Amadeus and Shakespeare in Love. They're both period shows with large casts, mm -hmm. uh, multiple costume looks per actor, sure. and so both of those really they stretched me. Yeah. I did it, and they turned out beautiful. But it was it was those were big. They were big. Yeah. I think mine was probably Legally Blonde the musical because you've got a huge ensemble and yeah. that ensemble is in every scene and they might be Harvard students or UCLA band members or they're at a party or they're in the court or they're judges like like there's just so many and then you've got a whole sorority mm -hmm. of the Delta News yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Delta News We're here. We're here. <laughs> yeah so I think that one I have no idea how many costume pieces were in it but it it really it yeah it tested me yeah it was so much fun Nice. Yeah, that's a fun show to do. Okay, and when, just for the audience, so when we're talking about like big shows, big numbers of costumes, can you give me like a ballpark figure? Like is it like, are we talking about 100 costumes or? I would say 80 to 100 is yeah. a big show. Okay, yeah. It's a very big show. Oh, Matilda, <laughs> I know how many pieces we had. We had 895 pieces. Oh, wow. That includes shoes, socks, wigs, wig caps, anything Shirts, that they pants, wore. Ties, yeah. jackets. Yeah. yeah. Oh my boy. Thanks. And that was Matilda here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. 800. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. That was nine. I was like, how did you yeah. keep up with that? Organization. Organization. <laughs> <laughs> and I can tell you <laughs> where every one of those pieces were at any point in time during that show. Because we had to with that many kids in yeah. the show. You have to. Was, oh, <laughs> yeah. 22 kids. Wow. <laughs> Costume designers are superheroes. You be the judge. Wow, so that is so many costume pieces. Um, I know this is a smaller cast show. So do you have any favorite costume pieces from this show? I do actually. Um, we, have an, we have an American Legion Legionnaire and we actually built the hat in the shop. So our costume shop, we built this. Um, Kelsey, who is our costume tech, she actually made the hat. Um, I did a little uh, Wenatchee Washington embroidery Ooh. on it we and then I found some pins that fit with our American Legionnaire on eBay people sell American Legion pins on eBay okay. so we've got some pins that are actually American Legion pins and it's actually we I feel like we did a great job on it yeah. so that's like that would be my favorite costume piece in the show I love it and it looks so good Yes. And for those of you who don't costume, okay, millinery, <laughs> which is the making of hats, a very specific skill set there.